I've got uh, my palette here with some colors. Can you see the colors? Three colors I put there, black, red, and white. I'm just putting some paint in, in black, red, and white because I can't put too much because to make sure it dries and I don't put my hands in top. So I'm putting first the red because it's further that way. Then I'll put the black. So I'm just going to put some red here. And, and you can see how it makes it much stronger look. Can you see? Look, 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 look at that. Can you see how much stronger it becomes there, nicer? This is like a patient's job. You know, you just have to have patience. Okay. In the boot now, here in the boot, I think this part, top of the boot, you can see a bit. Just put this top here. Okay. So that's the red for now on this part here. Okay. Put a bit more there. And then I'll go back to it when it dries. So there's the, the now I'll put a bit of black. Put of black now. So I'll put a bit of black in here now. Look, this part here. And just keep on adding paint. It will take some time to be done. A paint usually takes about two to three weeks, especially if it's big size like this. This is 40 by 30 inches, so it's big. But I prefer to paint big paintings than small paintings. Small painting is much harder because everything is small and this one is not. This one is big, so you can uh, can play about. See? A bit there. So keep on adding the paint now. And then, I just part here. Because now I'm just painting in this area here, just for you to see. So I can't go down because you won't be able to see it. So I'm just doing it like this part here, you can, you can still see, so I can put some here, just to show you. You build up the colors now, with the black paint. Okay, put a bit more. Put a bit more, look. Sometimes I even put uh, acrylic. Then I put, I have a special oil that I bought. Quite expensive, but it's just thick paint. Thick, thick. Heavy spice. And you put that, ah, oh, here you can feel the paint. And then sometimes I put acrylic on top again. You can do it. Usually in art you put acrylic you put oil, acrylic, that's it. But this one, you can put oil, you can put acrylic, oil, and then acrylic, no problem. So yeah, I'll leave that for another block. I think you better leave it like that. I don't want to take a chance going to white and then spoil it. Let me clean the thing. I can do it a bit in the top there, it's better now. Let me see. Just, just to show you that when you start putting the painting, it starts showing much stronger look. Look, can you see? Look. And then I just careful to go around the, the letters. Can you see? When you win the letters, you have to be careful. Otherwise, you just have to paint it again, isn't it? White, white, not in all the areas, because you want some with a shade. Some is like not so white, it's like a dirty white. So 
see painting is patient like now here. I can put a bit of that bit of white, slightly, very light with a brush. You see, it's only red, but I put if I put lightly, can you see? It gives the impression of light. Can you see there? If the window is right underneath, but you can put very slightly and you can do it. Let me clean the brush and you leave it for now to dry these, these three colors. And then I can do some more before tonight. But can you see the patience you have to have to paint this, this one, with, especially if it's in big, it's a lot of work. Especially the lettering, when it's packed with a lot of letters, it's quite hard. That's why I charge 300 pounds, because in canvas, canvas uh, painting. Stretched canvas 300, canvas board 250. But you know, sometimes I do a bit cheap if the person don't have a lot of money. We can always do a deal. The main thing is for my clients to be happy.